Hello and welcome back to iSpy in a series of lens and cataract lectures. And this video is about the iris shadow in which I'll try to clear concept of iris shadow. What is iris shadow and what is clinical significance of iris shadow? So let's understand what is the principle behind it. So before getting into iris shadow, let's understand what is actually a shadow and how does it form. So shadow is something which falls on an opaque surface of an opaque object when there is a clear space between the object and a surface in the presence of light. Let's understand this practically. So if we see here, I took a coin as an object which is opaque in nature. And when I throw a light on this object, you can notice a shadow of a coin behind its body. Now looking at this, can you tell me the things required for a shadow to be formed? So there are four important things that are obvious. First is source of light. Second is an opaque object. Now why opaque object? Because opaque object obstruct light rays passing through this and that will cast its shadow. While if object will be transparent or translucent, light rays, light rays will pass through that and there will be no shadow. And the third thing is a screen on which the shadow will form and that should also be an opaque. And fourth and last important thing is a clear space between an object and a surface. If there is no space, there will be no shadow. That you can also observe here. As I am taking coin close to the surface, shadow is becoming small. And as soon as coin touches the surface, there, here is no shadow at all. So now when we know what is shadow, what are the requirements for shadow formation and how does it form? Can we connect it to the eye and cataract? And let's understand the concept of iris shadow. So iris shadow is a concave shadow of the pupillary margin of the iris cast upon the grayish lens when light is thrown upon the eye from the same side obliquely. So now let's understand this demonstration why we have this iris shadow in immature cataract and why not in mature cataract. So here I have iris with pupil in the center. And this cotton piece will represent partial opacification or immature senile cataract. And this is the lens I have filled completely with cotton to give the appearance of total opacification or mature cataract. So let's see how this works. So when I shine the light, I can appreciate the iris shadow in this immature cataract. And here, no iris shadow in mature cataract. So why this is happening? So basically there is a clear space between iris and the opacified lens whereas in the mature cataract entire lens is opacified. There is no clear space between iris and opacified part of the lens. So that is why the iris shadow is not seen and that's how iris shadow is used to differentiate between immature and mature cataract. I hope now you get it the concept of iris shadow. So I as I tried with the simple approach, continue to watch through the cortical cataract. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.